We was out there in Wayne National Forest, and uh, it was cold. It was probably October, November, and we had this little far built. It wasn't all that big around, not that tall. It was out of leaves and little pieces of wood, you know, twigs. And we did doing our Bigfoot stuff, right? Well, anyway, we had probably been there for a couple hours or something like that, and it's about, I don't know, midnight or something like that when we finally took off, maybe one o'clock in the morning, something like that. It just got real, real quiet, and and, uh, and it's like the Bigfoot, the Bigfoot's there. They was there because we saw them in the infrared, you know, in our thing. We ain't got real, real quiet, man. And uh, all of a sudden, doubts me. I can't explain it to you. Or anything. I can't. I mean, I can. I don't know, man. I can't explain this exactly. I'm just tell you what happened. But anyway, all of a sudden, me and Dallas, we just we looked at each other simultaneously, looked at each other right in the face. And we was like, it's far apart from each other. And looked at each other. I said, I said, let's get the hell out of here. Both of us said at the same time, Andrew, let's get the hell out of here. And, and we did. We, uh, let's, let's leave, man. So we was leaving. There was, uh, Bigfoot was, was uh, maybe people don't believe this, but they was telepathically telling me in Dallas to get out of there. And the Bigfoots was. And I, like I said, they, they, me and Dallas, let's get the hell out of here. And we said at the same time. So we left, right? And we was getting in my van. Well, this was getting in my van. I let my van warm up about five minutes or something like that. And we started driving back down towards, you know, where the church used to be. It was about a couple miles from where we was at, something like that. Well, anyway, we see this figure walking up through there. This, and it had kind of long like hair. And, and this person had real, real red eyes, like, Far cold man looking right at us, but they and then it turned away right and they had it had an old lantern, a real old lantern, it looked like it's about that big around, and it had a flame you know you know a lantern had, uh, used a long time ago. See a lot of times they use lanterns to get around in the dark, you know, walking in the woods, whatever. Well anyway, this person was strange looking man and I didn't give no thought at first when I seen them red eyes. I thought maybe my headlights hit the eyes a certain way or made it like that or something. I wasn't really thinking. Well, I went down the road about a, probably a mile or so or something like that. I said, Dallas, I said, you see, I said, that's strange looking, wasn't it? He said, yeah. I said, do you think that was a spirit or something? He said, I don't know, Wayne. And Dallas, he had a, he had a bad feeling about it. I said, well, why don't I turn around and Turn around and see if they want to ride down. So maybe they broke down or something, man, and need to ride. And it's kind of nippy too, you know. Uh, he said, no, you know what? He said, I got a bad feeling about this, man. He said, don't don't mess with this, man. I said, oh, come on, Dallas. So I, I, I drove all the way down to the church and back. Like I say, it's a couple miles or so down through there from where he's at. I turn around, come all the way back, all the way up there, and I drove another mile or so past the place we was at. All the way up through there and back. Didn't see that son of a gun nowhere. That person was gone, man. They just thin air. I mean, I looked, I looked, and I didn't see nothing, and, uh, and there weren't no cars nowhere broke down. So, in my opinion, and Dallas could tell you the same thing, it had to be a spirit of some kind. And it, it, it must have been an evil spirit because, because the, the Bigfoot told us to get out of there telepathically. Whether people believe that or not about Bigfoot, he can do that. Somehow, brain connect, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I can't explain that because I'm not a scientist or a doctor or nothing like that, but anyway, uh, I mean, it had to be something evil for that to happen to tell us to get out of there, and then we both looked at each other at the same time, so we just get the hell out of here, and we did, and that, you know, red eyes, big old red eyes, you know, and this, it might have been a demon or something, I don't know, maybe it was going to come and harm us. That's what Dallas thought was going to harm us. So we got out of there, and then that was the end of it. I can't explain it to you. I mean, that's what happened, believe it or not.